of that. They assault people every evening there. I want to catch that on tape. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're going to be back after the demonstration, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll take your guidance, see what you think is more important for us to either be here. I don't know. I don't know. What there. do you think? Because you're the guy on the ground there. It's just that. Um, I think there's going to be a. I think there's going to be a lot of people there, but of course, there's a lot of stuff happening here. We also have some out-of-state representatives who understand the constitutional issues involved here that are going to be coming in and speaking. We have a stage that's being set up back here in the back, a makeshift stage. And so they're going to be coming in here tonight. There's going to be a lot of activities here. It's going to be a lot more like a, a media circus than it's been the last couple of days, the next couple of days. <laughs> what else has been going on while I've been hyperventilating? Well, basically, the uh, as I pointed out before in the... Uh, as, as we first started, uh, the big media has really moved in. We got CNN planted themselves right underneath the metal structures. They erected these flagpoles that you see out here just a couple of days ago. They uh, bolted them to some concrete, and they've got some banners up there. They took one of them down to do some repair or either take it to the demonstration that's going on in Las Vegas. And uh, so now we see the national media is actually uh, boots on the ground here. We also see Fox News is coming in with their helicopter. They were circling around and around and around, so I don't know what's going on with that. But we broke this story. Paul Joseph Watson broke it on Monday. That's when it became a national story, when Drudge picked that up. Uh, and they still don't have the story. They still don't get the understanding that this is about rights. And certainly they don't have the information that you just broke about the connection with Harry Reid and the Chinese and the documents scoping out the Bundy Ranch in advance. Premeditated yes. foreign takeover with a traitor. Sensational. That's right. That's right. Just simply sensational. I, I just, it just never ends. This is like a James Bond movie, how evil these people are. I mean, it, of course, James Bond books were written by Ian Fleming, who was in the OSS, so it's based on a lot of real scenarios. Um, you know, the one they made a few years ago, not the last one, the one before last, is about shutting the water off to take over the country. That was based on a true story uh, from yes. just a decade well, ago. I mean, it's just so criminal how they don't build anything. They just seize and scam assets all day. Yes. They want to turn everyone into renters. They don't want anybody to own anything. They want to move everybody off the land, whether it's this land, then it'll be the suburbs. They want to move everybody into small areas in the city under Agenda 21. And, of course, they want to take all of our rights, whether it is grazing rights and water rights this family has had for over a century, about 140 years, whether they want to steal that or whether they want to steal your property rights, whether they want to steal your privacy. Everything is up for grabs. They're taking everything. And the question is, how do we get these people under control? A lot of people believe that, of course, one of the places that it has to happen is that local law enforcement. They need to start standing up. So there's a well, that's a why the globalists here. have been federalizing their training and everything else yeah. and turning them into attack dogs. Then it's game over. We need to take our cities and counties back and sheriffs back now and yeah. stop stepping and fetching when we see government. We tell them, you work for us, this not the Chinese government. This guy who's a sheriff here, I just found out, he is not up for re-election. He is standing down. So he's doing his, uh, uh, the, he's doing the bidding of the feds, I guess. So he's going to get a, some kind of nice, cushy position when he retires from here. Because I think if he were to stay any longer than this fall's election, he would probably be recalled, and rightfully so. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. David Knight, um, just carry on, cover whatever you think. We get more funds and stuff. We'll get even more reporters. We'd have two teams out there, but... Uh, all of our reporters are doing just a fabulous job, and uh, the people that showed up out there, I'm told it's in 300, 400 folks now at any one time out there. The numbers are just growing. You know, a lot of people live in Vegas. They should all go out there this weekend to see tyranny firsthand, to see the enemy, to see the BLM run by Harry Reid's former chief of staff openly stealing property, openly taking police dogs at women trying to scare them. I mean, uh, I'll be honest, folks. I didn't go out there because I'm so busy, but also not because I'm scared. I've, I can't be around this anymore. Uh, I, I mean, I just cannot be around guys that literally want to menace women and children with police dogs who work for Chinese generals. I just can't do it. I just can't be around it. Uh, how, how are you handling seeing these, these, these BLM people and their crazed, crazed looks in their eyes when they see an American? It's like they were trained from birth to destroy us. Well, that accurately sums it up, Alex. Uh, these just hired thugs who brutalize women. For the Chinese, so that we can hand over our assets to the Chinese, so that we can hand over all of our rights to the government. It's really horrible. Like I just showed you the uh, the board that they put up of what they've been doing to his family members. And of course, there are other people here who are demonstrators and supporters. Some of them got that kind of treatment last night.
We have to get to the point where people stand up for their rights, and part of that is educating them about what their well, rights are. Well, I think that's, stay there. One more segment. This new development's going to blow them to hell. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Final segment in Overdrive and the article with the Chinese government, government documents, U.S. government documents, with the BLM and Harry Reid's former chief of staff and Harry Reid and his son taking a 125 miles uh, corridor that begins at that ranch with the Chinese government to build a uh, solar farm. And it's all documented and no one has connected the dots. It goes live at Infowars.com in T minus five minutes, counting down T minus five minutes. And I was wondering, everybody was there in the break going, how did you just say, run around the office saying, Harry Reid, Harry Reid? And I started thinking, I went, with well, a lot of things. It's always about a land grab. It's always about foreign governments. That's what UNESCO and the UN is. This is what happens in Africa, Latin America. They carve up different areas. And the Chinese 
government is using all the money their slaves, their people are putting out to buy up the U.S. So I didn't think Chinese. I just thought foreign government. And I thought, well, who gets a piece of that? It'll be whoever runs the state. And Harry Reid runs Nevada. So I said, investigate that sloppy pig. And sure enough, he was right in the middle of it. Be like if crime was going on in New York or New Jersey, and you said, you know, look into John Gotti. I mean, it, you know, there's like uh, hijackings of 18 wheelers. I mean, it ain't hard. I don't have a crystal ball here. I just have all this data, and then my brain can't even collate it all, and it just goes, Harry Reid, enemy, enemy. And I call Watson. I said, it'll be, it'll be him. It'll be him. And I'm busy writing other articles, but I will look into it. And they heard me running around, so Kit Daniels did. I'm not tooting my horn. It's just crazy because I just know these crooks, folks. I, I eat, drink, and sleep these pieces. Of, I want to say something. I really just want to use the proper English language. You know, I had family in England pre-Norman, and, and, and the S word is not really a cuss word, folks. Uh, in fact, it's an insult to, to shite to, uh, to even say that Harry Reid's a piece of that. So, excuse me, I'm, I'm going to stop right now. Closing comments. I see you got some folks there with you, David Knight. You got three, four minutes. Take us out of here. Go ahead. Alex, you knew that Harry Reid was up to this in some way because you've seen this at the local level. You've talked before about how you've seen local governments try to use, uh, zone, well, not even zoning, just coming around and declaring uh, people in violation of codes and start accumulating fines on them on a daily basis until they can confiscate that property. At the local level, the corruption is with real estate and the people who get elected there, I've seen it in Tampa when I was younger. Uh, there was Sandy Friedman, they called her Sandlot Friedman because she condemned so many homes. They use code enforcement. And that's what's happening here, only on a much bigger federal international scale. It's nothing but the same little racket that these crooks run when they're at the, at the city level. Now when they get to the national level, the state level, the international level, it's the same scam. They just use different justifications, slightly different justifications. I saw a lot of scrambling around going on, saw some Oath Keepers. When are we having that press conference with, uh, you got Chuck Baldwin's going to be there. He texted me this morning. There's going to be Stuart Rhodes, a bunch of people. Yeah, there's... Uh, I've heard varying reports about when people are going to get here. We've got uh, Sheriff Mack is going to be coming. Stuart Rhodes is going to be coming. That's the first I've heard about uh, Chalk Baldwin coming. I was told yesterday that some of them were already here, but then I've been told they're going to get here today or they're going to be here tomorrow. But there are people that are coming, and we also have some out-of-state reps who are going to be coming and some state reps in different states. I want to hear from Rand in Paul and Ted Cruz on this right now. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, this could bring down this could bring down Harry Reid, the article that's going live in mere seconds at PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. We're going to uh, tweet it out at Real Alex Jones. Folks, maximum effort to expose this. It, it is now live. Okay, we'll put the question mark behind it then and refresh it and let's get it up and I'll give people the headline. Because just like I popped champagne uh, whenever the Copenhagen documents came out that blew up in Climate Gate as a total fraud... Uh, and I told you that would devastate their, their global carbon tax. Now it's almost ir irreparable. This almost calls for champagne. If this breaks today and gets big, I will have, only done this once in 19 years on air, I will have a glass of champagne tomorrow on the radio and TV. If, if we're, This is a Death Star level destruction event, okay? We may be able to literally annihilate Harry Reid, the, the arch criminal with Eric Holder. They're all on the rocks in the name of Jesus, thank you. Just pray for their absolute annihilation in hell. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, you open a, a glass of champagne. I, oh, I don't drink enemies. champagne, so maybe I can take a bottle and uh, smack it against one of these poles up here in celebration of <laughs> what am I going to say? Oh, I don't drink that much either, but the whole point is is that <laughs> is that this is an absolute Death Star level event. Hey, can we put this back up on screen? I'll read people the headline. Breaking, Senator Harry Reid behind BLM land grab of uh, Bundy Ranch personally to make money. That... That smiling, look at that piece of trash. BLM attempted cover-up of Senator Reed Chinese government takeover of ranch for solar farm. David Knight, I just want to say great job, my friend. Thank you, Alex. Great job doing the research. It's always the usual suspects, but now you guys have got the smoking gun on him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. People get excited when they win the Super Bowl, folks. You're, you know, their team does. I get excited when we we are literally. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Help us. <laughs>
Oh, nightly news. I'll be on the nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock. Back tomorrow. Pray for us. Pray for America. Thanks for all your support. Great job, crew. <laughs> We're on the march. Yes. Coming for you, murderers. Coming for you, scum. Coming. We're